So as we said in the last one, we have this login form as a dropdown now. So we could put the cart or a cart button of some kind up here instead of having this long login form. And also putting this like this cleans it up quite a bit as well. Um, so let's go ahead and add in a font awesome shopping cart here. So going into fontawesome.com or excuse me, fontawesome.github.io, that's gonna take you to font awesome. And then in the icons, found this shopping cart one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and go back into our nav bar. And we're gonna create a new one. And this doesn't matter if the user is authenticated or not, but we are gonna put it on the right over there. And I'm gonna give it an L LI. So it's a list element here. And we're gonna give a href equals to, well, we'll put a hashtag for now. Then I'm gonna paste in that font awesome shopping cart. And I'm also gonna put in a badge. So how many items are in that shopping cart? And I'll put it before. So I'll do span class equals to badge. And I'll just say zero for now. And if we look at our nav bar, we see that our shopping cart button is there and as well as the badge, but I wanna adjust things. I'm gonna put the badge after it and I'm gonna make the shopping cart icon a little bit bigger by doing FA2X. So that just makes the icon a little bigger. And if we refresh in here, now it's almost too big. Um, so that's a little bit of an issue. I'm gonna leave it small for now and we'll fix that later and then give us a little space between the span. All right, so the size of it is going off of the text size that's in here, but we can make it bigger on our own. If we go into inspect element and we just want it to be a little bit stronger of a size and to, do, to change the size for it, we do font size and I'll say 16 pixels and go up a little bit. We'll just do 18 pixels, that's not too bad. Vertical align, middle, and that just puts it in the middle of top and bottom. So if we get rid of that, we can see that it's just it bounces around a little bit. Uh, so that's perfect. That's exactly the style that we want for this font awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and let's go into our CSS and I'm gonna do it for the shopping cart itself. But now I'll just say FA nav bar cart, giving my own custom class here. So inside of our CSS, we're gonna go into our static, into custom, and we called it FA nav bar cart. And we're gonna paste in those two. Again, let's just double check that we called it FA nav bar cart, we did. Cool, so now our custom CSS is showing that. So let's go ahead and do python manage.py collect static since we st changed the static files and then we're gonna run the server again and we go back in here and now we've got that shopping cart button. Cool, so that's getting closer to how it should look. Of course, you could change the coloring and stuff for both of these if you'd like, uh, but the gray I think works for what we're doing here. It fits along with all of our other styling, so I'm gonna leave it as gray. Um, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Really here, the main part of this is just to put a shopping cart and some item count number in here for when they actually click on it and when it goes to their actual shopping cart, which is something we haven't designed yet, but there's still a few more things that I wanna do on the homepage before we get there. So if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.